how to apply to freelance jobs on a programming platform like Upwork.com. So as you guys know, I think one of the best ways to start is by doing web scraping. So as you can see here, I'm on Upwork. I typed in web scraping projects and 94 projects were found. But if you, if you press this button, it removes the US only filter and that allows you to apply for jobs in any country. And that way there's now 1,466 jobs available. And you actually wanna go for the lowest paying jobs when you're first starting so you can climb your way up the freelance ladder. And so you wanna make sure to uh, uncheck US only. This is the page where you can search for jobs and you can apply a bunch of filters. So let's go ahead and say we want to look for jobs with a budget of less than $100. And we're only looking for entry level jobs. You can close the filter and 369 jobs are found in this case. So let's see if we can find any that look like a good fit for your first project. Okay, here you go. This looks like a perfect fit for someone who's applying for their first freelance job. The headline says data collection, and it says collection of 950 phone numbers and paste them into a spreadsheet. So you should definitely be able to do this after completing the self-taught programmer course. So that's great, it's entry level. And to get started, you wanna go ahead and press submit a proposal. So it lets you know how many connects it takes to apply to this job. And connects are something that Upwork gives you, they're like tokens and you get, I think 60 a month or maybe actually 52 a month. And when you apply to a job, you use connects. It's to limit you from just applying to as many jobs as possible. Then you can see the details, the terms of the project. So you can, you bid right here. And I recommend going a little bit lower than their suggested rate on your first job, just cause you are just getting started. So maybe you want to do 15 when the job costs or that when their budget is 20 or maybe you want to do 10, just cause all you're trying to do at this point is get experience. Upwork takes a service fee which is $2. And so this is the amount that you actually receive. You'll receive $8. But at this point, you're really just trying to get experience. You let them know how long the project will take. And then this is the really important part. This is where you write your cover letter. You can also upload different projects that are relevant to the job. Okay, so we're gonna write a proposal and we're going to use the same method that we use to write our freelance profile. We're gonna overcome objections. So I'm assuming the objections that they have are that you won't be able to get this job done correctly. They might be worried about getting the job done fast enough. So the second objection is you won't get the job done fast enough. And the third objection might be that you won't communicate effectively. Those are the three of the things that I worry about a lot when I'm hiring people on Upwork. So we're gonna do the same method where we type a little paragraph to overcome each objection. So you might start it off like this. Hey there, my name is Corey Altoff. I'm an expert in uh, Python and automation. I specialize in web scraping. I've completed many web scraping projects. I've read your project's description and reviewed your requirements. And I am confident I can get this job done to your specifications. Okay, so another thing that you can do to really give yourself a leg up on the competition is to actually specifically reference something in the job proposal. So it drives me crazy when I post a job on Upwork 
and I have people submit sort of cookie cutter cover letters that I know for sure they didn't actually read the job description. Like it's just super obvious they didn't read the job description. That drives me nuts. So you can give yourself an advantage by actually referencing the description. So you can say something like, I comment requirements of scraping 950 phone numbers and I'm confident I can get this job. Uh, so basically I just referenced this right here in the actual cover letter, which it's gonna give us an advantage because the employer knows that we actually read the job description. Okay, so then we're just gonna quickly address the objection that you won't get the job done fast enough. So we can say something like, because this is a straight forward project, I'm confident I can get it done fast. I can start working today. That's super important. As an employer on Upwork, I love when people say, I can start working today. Or even better yet, I can start working right now. Either one, but it just really helps me have peace of mind as an employer when someone says, I can start working right now. You know, I don't want to give a job to someone and then have them start working three days from now or a week from now. I usually have a pretty urgent need. I want it. I'm eager to get it solved, to have my problem solved as quick as possible. So I love when people say that they can get started right away. And then you can say something like, I can deliver the final completed project within three days. That just fully overcomes the objection that you won't get it done fast enough because you're telling them exactly how long it's gonna take you. And then the final objection is often that you won't communicate effectively. So that's definitely a nightmare scenario for me when I hire someone on Upwork and they just don't communicate. They they respond every two or three days and they sort of go MIA after they they get they land the project. So I really don't like that. So you can go ahead and say something like, I'm available all day today if you would like to discuss further. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. And then we can clean this up quickly with Grammarly. Delete our objection, bullets. And we have a great proposal. So it says, hey there, my name is Corey Altoff and I'm an expert in Python and automation. I specialize in web scraping. I've completed many web scraping projects. I've read your project description and reviewed your requirements of scraping 950 phone numbers and I'm confident I can get this job done to your specifications. Because this is a straightforward project, I'm confident I can get it done fast. I can start working right now. I can deliver the final completed project within three days. I'm available all day today. If you'd like to discuss further, I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this cover letter, copy and paste it right here. You can upload any relevant web scraping projects if you like so that the employer can see that. And then you go ahead and hit, and hit submit a proposal. And that is it. One other t uh, tip. When I'm hiring people on Upwork, I'll usually post a job and then I'll go through and I'll message like three people. And the first person to respond is at a big advantage because I'll just go and interview them right then on the spot. And if they do a good job, I'll hire them. So after you submit a bunch of applications, it really makes sense to be on your computer and to have Upwork open so that if anyone messages you, you can start talking to them right then and they don't have to wait. So if I message someone and then saying, you know, I'm, I'm interested in working with you, I loved your cover letter, and then they don't respond to the next day, usually that's too late. So that's something you definitely wanna keep in mind. But anyways, you submit the proposal and then you are good to go. One thing that beginners underestimate is how many jobs you need to apply to. So you need to apply to a lot of jobs, especially at first. So getting your first job is the hardest and then your second job, et cetera. Once you have a track record, it gets a lot easier, but don't get discouraged. You really do need to apply to a lot of jobs at the very beginning. So you need to think in terms of conversion rates, right? When I am trying to get people to buy my book, I don't assume that if 100 people 
go to my Amazon page that 100 people are gonna buy. Maybe 20 of those people would buy, which means you know I have a 20% conversion rate, but that's actually really high in marketing. Most conversion rates in marketing are something like three to 5%, right? So if you apply it to 100 jobs on Upwork, you should expect to maybe get three of them, at least at first while you're building your portfolio. Once you've built up your, not your portfolio, your reviews and your profile. Once you've built up your profile and you have a lot of reviews, you start getting badges, it gets much easier. But definitely at the beginning, be thinking in terms of conversion rates and don't get discouraged. Apply to as many jobs as you can, stay consistent, apply to new jobs every day, 10, 20, 30 jobs every day, and you'll definitely have success. So I hope that was helpful for you and I will see you in the next video. All right, thanks guys.